This is a how-to video on installing the Swedetech CR125 coil mount kit for the intake mounted system. As you can see in front of you, you have the coil mount and we've gone to a rigid mount system. We have the hardware for the coil itself and then we have hardware for the bracket to the reed cage and then the other side to the reed cage. Now you will notice two of the bolts are longer than the other bolts. The two longer bolts are to be used with the coil mount and on that side. You've also noticed that we're using button head allens and that is for carb clearance on the intake manifold itself. So instead of having you know some of the bolts that are four millimeter allens and the other that are five mil or an eight mil or whatever hardware you're using all four bolts will be the same same tool and you'll see we have the ground strap the plug wire and the plug cap that are included with our kit tools needed for this conversion are a four millimeter allen wrench five millimeter allen wrench eight millimeter socket electrical tape and WD-40 and depending on whatever hardware your engine has on the intake itself to remove the four bolts. So the first step is to remove the two right hand side bolts. And this is a good time to also pull your reed cage out, inspect your reeds, if you haven't replaced the reed cage gasket in some time, do that. And uh, you can buy replacement reeds from uh, shopswedetech.com. Now on the coil, you, you may have to replace the plug wire and it just easily threads out of the coil. And our kit includes the proper length plug wire. Use a little bit of WD-40 to help lubricate the plug wire and that will help it slide into the coil easier. The coil side isn't so bad, but the plug wire to the spark plug cap, definitely use a little bit of WD-40 there because you will get a false sense of security when the two rubbers tie together when they're dry. And always give the wires a nice little healthy yank when you're done to make sure you have a solid connection. We're utilizing the electrical tape to secure the wires to the coil. And this will help with the vibration and keeping the wires from breaking as often. And our coil mount kit, it does include two spring washers, so you do want to include the spring washers when you do the assembly. And as you can see, you're going to have the bracket, solid spacer, the coil ground strap, spring washer, and the bolt goes through all of it to tie it together. Now when you do the top bolt, don't forget about your ground strap. And you may need to bend the top of the strap at approximately a 90 degree angle and come around the back side of the coil and then run the bolt through our ground strap, the OEM ground wire, then there's also another ground plate, if you will. So there's going to be three separate wires going to that top lug. And you'll want to torque it down to seven or eight foot pounds. Now again, we have the hardware. The hardware for the right side of the reed cage is longer than the left side. So when you lay your parts out before the installation, it's a good idea to lay the long ones to the right, the short ones to the left. And we'll rotate the engine towards the camera, and you can see the final installation product after we secure the ground strap. Now when routing the ground strap, you want to make sure you don't put it in the way of the oil fill plug.
And there you have it. The Swedetech CR125 coil mount for the intake.